Today, I'm going to be showing you how to teach a dog to leave it. This is incredibly useful for all dogs, but especially puppies that have a tendency to pick things up off the ground on walks. What I really like about this method is that it works on any dog, whether we're working with an eight week old puppy or an adult dog of many years. The only time that it may not work is if we're using a food reward that the dog is not very interested in. To show you just how effective it is, I'm actually gonna be working with a dog today that I have never worked with before. And what you're about to see is going to be our very first training session. So the first thing that I want to do is condition a marker that tells the dog that they have just done the correct behavior, which will get them a reward. While you can teach this just as effectively using only your voice, I like to use the clicker because it has a very distinct sound and it's something that the dog has not already been desensitized to from hearing all the time. Once I have his attention, I'm gonna click and then give him a treat. Repeat this 10 to 15 times. A good way to tell whether the dog has made the connection is if they turn to you after hearing the click. Even at an early stage in the training, encourage the dog to look at you before you click. If they happen to be too focused on your hand, you can either make a sound and click as they look up at you, or you can actually use the treat to lure them to make eye contact and then click as soon as they do. The goal of the following exercise is to be able to put a few treats in front of your dog and they will choose not to pick them up. Show the dog that you have a treat and then close your fist. Allow the dog to sniff and try and get it out. Some dogs may be very persistent. They may try licking your hand, sniffing it, or even pawing at it. Just remain very, very still and the second they back up, click and reward. It really is best not to say anything to the dog at this stage because we want them to figure out on their own what they have to do to get that treat. Good. Good job. Start adding the cue, leave it, as you close your fist. Eventually the dog will figure out what it is that you want them to do. Leave it. Very good. Charlie, leave it. The next step is to put the treat on the floor, but cover it with your hands before the dog is able to get to it. Yes, good job. Leave it. Good. After a number of consistent repetitions, you should be able to tell your dog to leave it and they will understand what is being said. Charlie, leave it. Good job. Watch here how instead of going for the treats, he will choose to come towards me. Good boy. I think that this is one of the most useful things that we can teach our dogs. The long-term goal is to build on this and be able to use it around greater distractions, whether it's a squirrel or another dog.